Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorial for texturized or pattern brushes in Procreate. Today I will be showing you two similar brushes to be used in your map making or as a basis in creation of any other texturized brushes. This is just a process. I will be going through some workarounds in Procreate as well since I had previously had issues following other people's tutorials in creating those. So uh, I will give you some tips and Obviously, it will mention some workflow speed ups that will help you in uh, creating your artwork a bit faster and obviously without compromising on the richness on the finished artwork itself. To start with, I just wanted to apologize for weird colors on my iPad. Um, only after recording this video, I've noticed that I haven't switched off night shift mode. So the yellow tint will persist on the screen for the entire video. I am really sorry about it, guys. Um, but these are the joys of being a content creator. So uh, let's be real. All info is still in this video and I wasn't about to record it again because um, it, it is pain in the butt, so uh, yeah, you will have to just deal with slightly warmer colors, uh, but it shouldn't be an issue like I said before. And I have been experiencing a lot of eye strain recently, so it is beneficial for me on a daily basis to use that night shift mode. So hopefully you don't mind that much. So this is the very first map that I have ever made for somebody else than myself. I have been approached by one of my favorite authors, Maria V. Snyder, and she requested this artwork to be made for one of her new books. If you're interested, I will link it down below since it's been published now and she is writing fantasy novels and there's like a lot of them, I think 12 now, so if you're ready for a long ride, I would totally recommend it. As to why she approached me and not a famous artist, well... It's a story for another video that I plan on recording soon, so stick around and find out. Anyway, back to the point. So Maria commissioned this work and this is the final result. As you can see, it's a castle complex and I am still fairly happy with how it turned out. Obviously, now that I know more stuff, I would probably implement it a little better. But considering that it was my very first commission, I still think it turned out pretty well. Here you can see some walkways which I filled in with cobblestone texture or pattern if you want to call it like that. This is to make it obvious what it is as soon as you look at it but it's also added to break off some of that grass emptiness around because I didn't add texture to that thinking it would just disappear on a very small picture in a book. And the second brush that I will be showing you how to make is this pavement slash slab pattern that you can use on the terraces, towers and walls. Again, you'd like to add it to break up the monotony of the grey walls, balcony walls, promenades or walkways or any other big areas that would otherwise just look empty. It's, it adds a little bit of that special touch. So let's move to the tutorials now and just a note that I have added chapters below so if there's any point you're especially interested in you can just click the specific timestamp and not waste your time because let's face it we're all busy and I don't want to waste anybody's time. Let's head over to Procreate and create a blank canvas. Mine was 4000 by 4000 so slightly too big for this project but nothing stops you from making it smaller. I believe 1000 by 1000 pixels would be plenty and this is the size that I will be using for my second tutorial as well. Once you created the canvas we're going to add a drawing guide and turn on assisted drawing option for the layer. In drawing guide choose the 2D option on the bottom, slide to desired opacity and thickness of the guides and in grid size click on the pixel number and type in desired gap of the guides. I chose 500 pixels due to large size of the canvas, but you can make it bigger or smaller. Press done when you're ready and ensure the layer had drawing assist turned on. For the line work, I'm choosing a standard brush including in Procreate and a black color for it. Make sure that you're focusing on the middle and ignore the edges for now as we will be moving the canvas a couple of times and the edges are best added at a later stage. 
Also make sure that you're creating some gaps in the lines that you're creating and this is for the slabs not to look too uniform and to add a vanishing more organic pattern. Just like that. When you're ready, flip it 90 degrees and do the rest of the lines. And because we have the drawing assist, it will always be a straight line so you don't have to worry about them going wonky. Now that I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to duplicate the layer and add two background layers to ensure that the pattern is bang on in the middle once shifted to left and right because we do want to highlight the entire size of the canvas and not only the size of the pattern itself. Fill in the background layer with the color so you can see it better and also to help that movement as well. Now we're going to highlight one of the pattern layer and one of the background layer. Choose move tool which is the arrow on top and ensure that the snapping is turned on on the bottom. Now move them by dragging both of them up until you see orange snapping lines in the middle point. And the middle point itself of both of those layers that you dragged is aligned with the top edge. Once done, select the other top layer and the other background and move it to the bottom ensuring the middle of those dragged layers is in line with the bottom edge this time. Now we will be merging the layers, so pinch both of the pattern layers and both of the background layers and duplicate them again as we are going to be moving them left and right the same way we've done up and down. This is to speed up the process a little bit because it's fairly geometrical pattern and not a lot of shape variations are included so we don't need to keep flipping it. Make sure you merge the top at the background and that the pattern layer has drawing assist still on. Now we're going to fill in the middle line that is missing and we also have an opportunity to fix any of the line work in the middle that we don't like. I'm fixing a couple of them as I didn't like that too many of them vanished in the same place and I wanted to make some lines thicker and because you have the draw assist on again the lines will always be straight you just have to hit the pen on the exact spot where the previous line has been drawn. Now you can make it more organic looking by varying the thickness of the strokes so make sure they not or uniform but they do go thicker and thinner in between the places. If you make changes and you're unsure of any of the design parts you can always duplicate and move layers and the backgrounds again left to right or top to bottom to ensure that they align the way you want and you can also review the middle if anything's look not the way you want it to and obviously fix it. Now we're going to brush menu um, textures category and we'll choose one that is already coming in with Procreate. We will slide it to the left and click on duplicate. When you click again on it, it lets you go into the menu where you can amend things. Now that's where I've came across some issues before. Usually what other tutorials I've watched told me was to copy the layer with the pattern on. Go into the brush settings, choose grain, import and paste it. And because we, we've drawn it with the black and the pattern itself in the menu is black, you need to tap with two fingers to invert colors. Well, this is what happens where, whenever I try to do it. And to be honest, guys, I'm not sure why. It might be because I always work on quite large canvases so it might be the size that it doesn't want to paste into the tiny grain field of the brush itself maybe it's just because my ipad is slowly dying due to old age and demanding owner and uh, hey uh, i had to find some ways to work around it and um, i'll show you how i fixed it whenever i came across the issue of the pattern not pasting in 
So we're going to go back to our pattern and we are going to choose the pattern layer itself and I like to switch off the background and ensure that the alpha lock is on that pattern layer. Choose white color and a large brush. I chose round brush from the painting category of the brushes in Procreate and I made it big size, like maximum. As you can see now, when I painted over it, it changed the color to white and I will be now exporting only that layer as PNG, which will retain the background transparency and that's what we want and I will be saving it in my gallery. Now when you go to the brush menu and import picture, instead of just pasting the layer that we've copied, it shows correctly and we don't have to double tap because it's white on the black background. Adjust the scale to make it bigger or smaller the way you like it. Now let's test it. It looks good, however, the pattern doesn't continue when you pick up your pen. So if you want to stop drawing and continue from another point on the canvas, it will not work very well because the pattern itself will overlap and it will not align into one pattern design as we would normally want it to. So we have to go into the brush settings again and change it to texturize. And what it does, it changes the properties of the brush that allows us to draw the same pattern regardless of where we start drawing it from. So you can pick up your pen from the canvas um, and start from anywhere else and it will always align to this pattern. Now changing the size of it will not affect the size of the pattern itself. It will only change the area of the brush itself that we draw the pattern with. So if you need to adjust the size of the pattern itself what we need to do we need to go into settings again and change the scale so this will allow you to draw the pattern in different size with ability to pick up your pencil off the canvas and continue from another point of it Hope you enjoyed this video so far. If you find it useful, please leave a thumbs up or subscribe if you'd like, as it really helps small creators like myself to hang on and feel appreciated. So thank you guys. Now onto the brush number two. Choose canvas and this time I have chosen 1000 by 1000 pixel ones. So we're going to add background layer and the top layer where we will draw our cobblestone pattern. For this one, I chose a studio pen in inking brushes category of the Procreate brushes. I would suggest for this project that you have a think about how many cobblestones you want to include. You can do a rough draft uh, if you need to just imagine it or just start drawing and see how it goes. I would again advise that you start filling in the middle as we will be moving the canvas a couple of times during this process. So do some rounded shapes and some more squarish ones to reflect the difference of the stones and make pattern look more organic. Don't make any of them too big or small as this will be more obvious once you repeat the pattern that it is in fact repeatable pattern because they are easier to spot among the other ones. So don't include any that catch eye straight away. Once you're happy with the results, we will be repeating the steps from the previous brush. So duplicate the top layer and the background layer. Now select one pattern and one background layer and drag it to right and then the other ones to the left. Ensure you have snapping turned on on the bottom and merge the top pattern and the background with each other once you're done. Obviously at this stage you can fix anything that you don't like in the pattern and add missing stones in the middle. Ensure they don't look too aligned or stacked and again don't draw anything too close to the edges 
on top and on the bottom because yep you've guessed it we will be duplicating it and dragging it to the top and the bottom now Now you need to fill in stones in the middle but again don't get too close to the edges as we will be dragging them one more time to finalize the design. Duplicate the background and pattern layer, drag them to the left and right once more and now we only have the middle left out. Unless you need to fix anything like I have to here because I didn't like how the line looked like. Once you're happy with the design, we will do the error-proof method of creating the brush. So alpha lock the pattern layer, choose a bigger brush, I chose again round brush from the paint group of brushes in Procreate and I have chosen the white color for it. Now I am painting over the design only because of that alpha lock that we turned on and you can't really see here due to light background but if I change it to a darker color you'll be able to see that we've changed the pattern to white now. So now I am switching off the background and export the pattern only as PNG to retain the transparency of the background. This time I chose diagonal brush from the textures group to duplicate. Once you go into the settings, it will allow you to import a photo and the pattern is shown as it should be on the sample screen. Now, if your brush doesn't align once you pick up your pencil off the canvas, you can change this to texturize to keep the continuity of the pattern design regardless if you pick your pen from the canvas or not. The only thing to remember is that to change the size of the pattern itself, so the size of the individual cobblestones that you will be drawing, you have to change the scale value. But once you're happy with the size that is relevant to your project, you can change colors, pick your pen off the canvas and be sure that your pattern will not misalign or overlap. So now that we're done, I hope you've had no problems with following the tutorials and that you'll be able to use your own pattern brushes to enrich your artworks and make them more interesting. If you do have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.